In this video we will have a look at orienting your part for printing and what options there are to do this. I'm looking at this dental part and uh, the first option that we have built into firmware is orient to face which can be found here in the toolbar or here in the menu and when you click this you will go into the rotate to face mode and hovering with your mouse over the part will show you an arrow that will be aligned to the face normal. When you click the part, the part will orient itself and the face that you clicked on will face downward in the negative set direction. I can also turn it back like this. Now Another scenario would be that you would like to print this upside down with all the tooth facing downward. But in this case it would be hard to find one face that can be clicked to orient like this. So there's a second option which is called orient to plane. This can be found here and as well in the move menu. And when you click this it will ask you to select three or more points and then enter to confirm. So I will be doing that now. So the first two points will be here and then I would use two more points here on the end, one there and one there. Then pressing enter will rotate the part and it will have calculated a virtual plane through the click points. And this way I'm able to pretty accurately rotate the part to an orientation where I couldn't find a face that was aligned to that orientation. Now, this is both, <coughs> these were both manual ways, but there's also an automatic orientation tool that has a couple of options. Um, I will quickly go over them. So the auto orientation can be found here, but as well in the move menu. So it has five options. Um, the first one being the minimum amount of surface under the critical print angle. So the critical print angle is defined here. This is basically a machine specific parameter um, that's set up in the support profile. And this tells you how much overhang you can print without adding supports. So ideally you would like to minimize the amount of surface under this angle. So if I select the first part like this, it will calculate a new rotation and you will see that the amount of red critical surface is minimized. Now the next option would be the minimum print time. So this is basically orient for the most flat part. We might want to increase the amount of orientations right here. And then you'll see it actually puts it flat on the build table. Then there's the option as many items as possible. So the smallest footprint possible. That will yield an almost vertical orientation. Then there's a new option available since one or two versions ago of the software, which is the largest flat surface. So this will look for large flat areas that have roughly the same surface normal and it will orient to that area. And then there's a new option in version 38, which is the minimize island count. So this is a bit different than minimize the amount of surface under a critical print angle. And it's different because it basically counts the amount of surfaces and it minimizes for that. Therefore, it takes a little bit longer to calculate. But you will be left with a minimum number of surfaces that require individual supports. 